Hey, hey, Spring Lafay, Simply Tarot. Okay, this is going to be a reading for all signs, all zodiac signs. I'll start with uh, Pisces and uh, going all the way to um, Aquarius. Um, what this is going to be is um, love and money. So I'll take um, cards for love and cards for money, and we'll just see what we get. I will be stopping in between each zodiac sign to reshuffle. So, yeah. Okay, Pisces, let's see what we get for you. Um, okay. Okay, Pisces, love, Pisces, love, okay, okay, <clears throat> okay. Here's the thing, um, if you don't concentrate so much on opposition, uh, and look so much, at, I'm feeling like at what was or what could have been or what, you know, and you, um, cause see, we got perfectionists here, we've got reward, and then on the bottom, we've got opposition. Um, this is like a feeling of uh, someone looks at everything as an opposition, and I feel like also they keep looking back at what what was and they want to know well what could it have been or what it's too much dwelling backwards um and with perfectionism being here i feel like that you know if you're weighing too much on um oh this looks like expecting everyone to be just like you and um because you may be a perfectionist everyone's not the same you know but you know if you want a like-minded person i feel like what's what's going on here with perfectionism being but we have reward right next to it um and opposition on the back i feel like once you start looking at things differently and not look at everyone as an opposing factor or everything as an opposing factor to you I feel like you're going to actually have a reward where love is concerned and um, possibly meeting the one that, you know, has the same traits, it feels like, the same values. It's got an awesome feeling to it. Okay, now let's look at um, money. I have pre shoveled, by the way. Okay. Okay. Um, this is a moment of, um, it feels like growth, but it comes after balance because it feels like you have had a moment, something happened, and it made you feel like you had to cling on to everything you had because, you know, I mean, that comes right after, the five of pentacles comes right after the four of pentacles, the four of pentacles clinging feeling left alone, feeling void, feeling um, as though you've been abandoned. So, there's this feeling of, you know, not having enough, wanting more, needing more. I feel like once you come away from that, feeling like you don't have enough, to having this um, feeling uh, that things are growing, things are going in your favor with the Ace of Wands, finding your strength, um, to find the balance in your life, things are going to change. It's that type of feeling. But if you keep staying in the mindset of you don't have enough or you won't have enough, then how are you ever going to have enough? You see what I'm saying? Um, it's, it's like a mindset that you've got yourself into, it feels like. So, yeah, that is what I've got for you. And we will come back with Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio. It is your turn. We'll look at love first. Now this doesn't have to be um, romantic, although it can. It could be, you know, just love in general. So let's see what we get for you. The visionary and 
trust. Okay. A fool. Okay. Well, it feels like to me here that there's a need to change the way that you see love. Now, whatever this is about, this could for some of you this is about a romantic, uh, wanting a romantic partner or such, and it's uh, a feeling that once you change the way you look at things, because see, then we have the fool here, and that is about trust, but it's also I feel like about being being ready to really uh, take those chances on love. Um, it's like a passage will then open. Things will then um, change for you. You will see doors opening uh, once you take this new look at things. Uh, the way you look at um, love and relationships. I also feel like if this is um, for some of you that, you know, there's a family member or something went awry with a family member... I feel like that um, you really need to look at things differently because something may have been overlooked and um, I feel like that, you know, maybe it's time to trust and allow, you know, another chance to see where things will go. Um, see if things can uh, be better within the family dynamic and family relationship. Um, that's what I've got with that. Okay, let's get you for money okay okay for those of you that um you know you're you're wanting to voyage forward or you're wanting to change your um Oh, profession or what you do for a job it feels like now is the time pick your strength up get your strength up and um you know be the leader that you are because it feels like that for some of you, you it's just right there you know uh, the three of pentacles can be about job and relationships and you know things growing and and people seeing your potential you know um it's like he's showing what he can do you know um the right people seeing what you can do now for some of you i feel like that um when you find the strength to show um what he, whatever it is that you're keeping to yourself there's something that someone they they possess a some skill set and they're not really um they're not really forging forward in that area and uh, some of it i feel like is because they they have self-doubt in themselves and what they can do and they need to find the courage to really come away from that and really um it feels like show what they can do because it feels like there is going to be a partner or job or something that's going to make you very happy um i also feel like that for some of you you know if if you are um you have your own business there may be uh, someone that is like-minded that may come into your life that uh, somehow gives you strength this could be strength in numbers so it could be helping money um but the thing is, is, you know, whatever it is, it's going to help to grow things and help you. So this could be a new partner um, where money is concerned or where um, you're, maybe you're self-employed um, or such. So that's what I've got for you, Scorpio. Uh, we'll come back with Cancer. Okay, Cancer, this is a reading for you. Um, what we're going to do first is, I have pre-shuffled, pretty much going to get into it. Um, I will give it one, and then we're going to just go with it and see what we get for um, you as far as love is concerned. Hope. Trust. Wow. And on the bottom, we've got triumph. Okay, so this, with that being the star, the star, it, it, I feel like that um, you're going to have a new, it's like a new beginning. 
You see, this is Ace of Wings, and that's Triumph. You're going to find Triumph over um, something that's held you back. We've got the Fool here. That's Trust. I feel like you've got this new new beginning that's right on the verge. It's right there. And um, this is like a wish come true. This is something that you have had hope for. You haven't lost hope for. You haven't lost trust in. And you're going to have this triumph and really uh, find what you're wanting. Um, I feel like for many of you that, you know, this could be actually triumphing over a situation you've been dealing with and it's like finding a new solution something comes to light and um, it's like a newness comes over it so it could be you know a, a relationship that hasn't been on the same page and all of a sudden it's like it's vibrant and new and it just flows and it, it just it's good together um, then for some of you this is a new um, new arrival something new you know something you're going to want to take that leap of faith with you're going to want to open up with you're going to want to have trust in um I, it feels like you know having triumph over a period of time where you felt like um things just weren't working out for you and it's like now all of a sudden you know you've got this dream this wish coming true and um, this newness, this oneness, and it's beautiful. You know, doors opening, passages, you know, paths opening up to you. Um, I feel like that um, you've got a wish that's coming true, and that's beautiful. You, this is something you wanted. This is a new beginning. So, yeah, that's an awesome feeling. Now, let's, let's look at um, money for you. Okay. Okay. Okay, I had um that two of um pentacles show up in one of the other readings and the king of swords. I feel like that um with patience and with uh, really knowing what you want and going after it, you're going to achieve a lot. But a lot of this has to do with how you balance during um, with your money and how you balance in work if, you, if this is about work. Uh, for some of you, I feel like that you could be going to receive, uh, there could be like a windfall. And um, you're going to need to balance things out. You're going to need to be very uh, diligent with that to make it last, to make it go where you want it to go. Uh, you know, I feel like that for some of you, this could have something to do with court or a higher power being involved that, um, you know, maybe there was, uh, could have been um, an estate left to you or something. Uh, it's going to be different for different people. And then for some of you, I feel like that, whew, you could be on your way to a higher position if you are, you know, um, working and this is job related. Um, I also feel like for some that this could have to do with actually college um, and there's a need to really balance your time about, I feel like, um, where work class you know how much uh, if okay i'm getting um uh, um in room time homework um how much time you spend in the books and on the computer as far as learning what you need to learn so it's all the key is balance it's all about balance um things can really progress forward because uh, the king of swords can be a leader you know of sorts so this is like you could really um flourish and go forward a uh, triumph triumph uh, um, according to you know what whatever you know whether this is you wanting that dream job and you're working for it through college or um, you um, wanting that dream job and you know you've been waiting on it you've been doing putting in the time and balancing your life and then bam there it is um, or, you, like I said, you know, it could be someone coming into a windfall. Um, yeah, 
to be winning money or, or such. Um, now, now I'm seeing scratch offs. So someone could be going to come into some money on scratch offs or such. And there's something about two two um, because I'm I'm drawn to how this is one two, and then I I got it again, so it's two two. Um, that's what I've got for you, Cancer. We're going to come back with Taurus right here in a minute. Okay, Taurus, let's look at love first. We're going to use this deck. Got Celebration. And then you got the Emperor. This is Three of Shells. This is the Emperor Power. Celebration and power. And then we've got illusion. Okay, so don't celebrate too soon. Um, I feel like that um, the power... Okay, the power is in your hands. The thing is, we've got illusion here. So something may not be as you're seeing it. So you need to look deeper into a situation or a person, it feels like where love is involved. This does not have to be romantic, yet it can be. There is a need for a deeper look. Don't celebrate celebrate too soon. The power is in your control now. Um, but there's a need for looking deeper. So you, you need to look deeper into um, a situation, it feels like, or um, even a person. There's something you're not seeing. Okay. And then let's look at your, um, your money. However, it, you know, this can fall for work. It can fall for just money in general. Okay. Okay. So, I feel like that... Um, you're walking towards really being very financially stable, being where you want to be. Um, this could be, uh, some of you could be walking w towards a job that has something to do with, I feel like, um, water. That's just for some of you. Uh, now, um, for some of you, this is like leaving something that wasn't working behind and walking towards what's going to be very fulfilling for you. Um, I feel like so that you have time to uh, really concentrate more on um, emotions. So, I don't know who that's for. Now, uh, for some of you, I feel like that, um, you know, you're, um, you're doing your thing. You've got a lot of emotion. But I feel like you are deciding that you put the, okay this is about not showing your emotion at work for some of you uh so it, it's as though um you've walked away from something that wasn't fulfilling but you learn a lesson and i feel like that um a lot of it is about choosing what your words wisely choosing your words wisely because sometimes Things we say, if you, you know, some things are better left unsaid. We'll put it that way. Um, and I feel like it's got to do with you, your personal life, your personal life, your past life. And if you talk too, too much, you know, yeah. Um, so that's what I, it feels like it though, with it, things looking good. Uh, now I have to, to say, um, for someone, I feel like that this is, this, you know, being single. Not for all of you, but for someone. And it's strength. It's, it's strength, though. Um, but I keep getting brought over here. It's like something comes about that you weren't seeing and someone ends up single. Uh, that's for someone. That's not for all of you. So, yeah, we'll come back with Virgo. Okay, Virgo. Let's start with these with love and just see what we get. Let me get it. Hmm. The Emperor. They've thrown out the Emperor. Um, this is about taking your power back. So, if you've given your power away, it's time to take it back. It's time to uh, not allow 
anything or anyone, I feel like a situation, to take away your power. So that's important for someone. Yeah, maybe you're being a little too generous with generosity. And that's something to think about because it's like allowing others to walk all over you is what I'm feeling. So someone being too nice. Too nice a person, it feels like. Okay, Virgo. Let's see. What is your reading? Love. Fear. The moon. Okay, see there? Power. Okay, it come back out because it's meant. Um, see, we've got defeat on the bottom. Feeling defeated. It's time to take your power back. Uh, there is a fear with the moon card being here. There's a fear. There's a fear of the unknown. The power is in your hands. You have to come away from this feeling of um, being defeated. Uh, five of wings. This feels like this is um, a look back and allowing the past to kind of hold on to you and keep you um see you need to regain your independence from the past um not allowing it to keep you um held um this is about taking your power back you're gonna have to take your power back in order to um oh, let's take another card let's get just one i haven't done this with the other ones okay there you go see okay where have you sown your seeds Nourish the ones, nurture the ones that are going to fulfill you going forward, not backwards. So, you need this, okay, if you keep looking back and you hold on to the fear and the feeling of defeat, how will you ever go forward? So, this is, there's a need to release the past, uh, nurture, the, nurture relationships that feel worthy of being nurtured. Um, and let go of the ones that, you know, are going to just grab you, your power away. And I feel like that someone also may be looking at, um, they may be looking at money. I don't know if this is you or someone else. Looking at what people have. And what that's doing is, I feel like it's taking them down the wrong path. That's what it feels like. So, um... You know, it's time to, to, to uh, take your power back, it feels like. This is about power and where you give it out, where you give out your energy. Let's look at you as far as um, money. They throw it out the King of Wands. Okay. Family. The Fool. Okay. So, family... New beginnings. Change the way you look at things is very important. Um, okay. Okay. <clears throat> this feels like that um, with the King of Wands coming out, I feel like that has to do with family. Um, the Fool coming out, I feel like that feeling foolish, feeling like um, something did not go in the way that maybe you had planned and we had a tower moment come out. Um, <clears throat> you need to look at things differently. Um, and two, holding grudges is not going to fix anything. I feel like that with the Ace of Pentacles being here, things will work themselves out, um, and be more equal, even though it doesn't feel that way. So there's something to do with, um, I'm going to tell you right now, if something isn't equal, karma Karma's got you back. I mean, you don't need to worry about it. Karma doesn't lose an address. So, whatever it looks like it's been, you know, being got by with as far as your money is concerned or where you felt like you um, lost money, um, it's not going to go on, you know, I feel like because I feel like karma's been, <laughs> yeah, someone has pushed the envelope. I honestly feel like some someone has done more than everyone else. They feel very foolish because they it's like something happened and, and it's almost like they, they got thrown out or they, they lost and, and someone else gained and it's like trying to figure out, now how do I deal with this, you know, uh, to come out on top, to, to have um, the beginning, the, the, the going forward power that you wanted to have. 
I feel like it's going to come to you, and I feel like that, you know, though things don't may not seem like they're being equaled, um, it, karma, if there's anything that isn't, karma's got your back, so don't worry about that. Um, I feel like you need to just be at peace. You need to move forward um, for you. You know, it's that type of feeling. It's almost like, um, I don't know, it's, it's a feeling like doing everything and then uh, others coming in and getting the reward. But, here's the thing. If you were only doing what you were doing for the reward... Is that really a reward? So, um, I feel like this is this is a good time for looking within the heart and um, really looking at why you've done something. Because if it's got to do with money and reward, then I feel like you need to rethink things. So that's what I've got for you. We'll come back with Capricorn in a moment. Okay, Capricorn. Let's, uh, I have pre shuffled. Uh, whoops. Mm. Okay. Someone is losing their power. Um, it's due to worse than sorrow. It's, it's almost like, um, They've let their power go to something that is hurting them badly. Um, and it's time for them to have a success. It's time for them to pull the, their self out of that and uh, really see their self in a whole different light. Let go of the fear because what can be is much more beautiful than what um, you fear, it feels like. Um, Yeah, it's that type of feeling. So let's get your cards. That was for someone. I don't know who. Okay. Nurture. The nurturer. The charmer. Disappointment. Okay. Um, as far as love is concerned, this is a feeling like someone, um, they keep getting disappointed. It's like they, they are trying to nurture um, a relationship or a, a connection. They're, you know, putting on the charm, doing whatever they can, and it's like they keep ending up with disappointment. You know, um, sorrow. Signals are trying to show you something, so there's a need to really look um, look at the messages you are receiving, um, because you know we can only you can only nurture something that isn't going anywhere. But I mean, you can keep on nurturing, but if you keep on nurturing it, what good is it? If it's not fulfilling, if it's not going anywhere, um, now I'm, you know if if some of you are staying in a relationship just for money you know I, what I, what's making me that come to me is i seen a post earlier when i was on social media um it was the the grim reaper and then there was a man holding suitcases full of money and um it's like the grim reaper saying you know uh, no luggage allowed you know so um in other words you can't take materialistic belongings with you when you go so if it feels like for someone um, they're staying in a, a situation or a relationship where they're not happy they're not uh, loved they're not cared for they feel sorrowful um, they give they nurture um, they, they they try to put on the charm and they just keep getting disappointed um, because they're staying in it for the wrong reasons. So, that's for someone. Um, but for some of you, I feel like that it's a feeling like just not knowing what to do. Because the more you do, the more disappointed you end up. Um, and this doesn't have to be in a romantic relationship. But it could be. 
Now, for one, if, you know, this is the way that you look at relationship, you could be bringing this in every time you get into a relationship. You need to look at things differently. You need to see things in a more positive light, I feel like. So, yeah, um, being disappointed is not, you know, I, it feels like it's not a good thing. And, and I feel like that... Um, a lot of it, though, is in in your hands. You know, what you allow is what you're going to get. It's that type of feeling. Just like if you stay in a relationship just because of um, having material gain, then you'll have that material gain, but you may not have um, love or you may not have um, feeling nurtured and feeling um, needed and cared for um, and such. So let's look at your money aspect. Okay, they've thrown out a couple over here. Okay, as far as money um, with these two cards, I feel like there's some decisions that you're pondering on. Um, it's something you may have thought about in the past that may affect money. Um, I feel like that um, this is something that you need to think about very quickly because it's like it's almost like something can change in just the, the snap of a finger. And um, it could be all gone, whatever that has to do with, with money. Um, it's something to do with decisions that need to be made, need to be looked at and addressed and not put up for later. Yeah. Okay. Now let's get to the... Okay. That was for someone. Okay. Looking forward, um, it's, it's almost like someone moving forward and all they can see is not having enough. All they can see is not having enough. It's like that's, you know, it's like every time they think about moving forward, they just keep seeing this. They don't realize that happiness is right there. So this is about the way someone looks at, at money issues. Um, I feel like they're looking at them um, black and white. They're not looking at um, everything from a whole view. Um, they're, they're like limiting the view. And they need to look at things oh, totally different. Um, because it's, it is, they're limiting the view. So that's what I've got for you, Capricorn. It's, I know it's a little confusing, but I feel like it's a lot about changing how you look at your finances or uh, going forward towards a job or uh, if you have a job um, or money in general or money from a relationship. It's, it's all about how you look at it, how you see it, because... I feel like if you see it in a bad light, it's going to stay in a bad light. If you see it as if not having enough, then you're how you're going to bring in more. You're just going to keep bringing in not having enough. That's the way I see it. So yeah, we'll come back with Leo. Okay, Leo, let's see what we get for you. As far as love is concerned, the impasse, victory, and we got the adventure. So, woo! Um, if you haven't got someone in your life, it feels like you've got someone coming into your life that is very, very, um, this feels like someone that's very intuitive, very empathic. Someone who uh, is very caring. But this is also someone who is up for an adventure. So get ready. Um, this is a feeling of really feeling victorious. Feeling like things could really go the extra mile. Um, that this could be the one if you're wanting romance. Now, 
You're going to have to find the courage, though, to really go after this. Uh, this is something that you can't just see it's about balance, it feels like. You can't just sit back and not do anything, it feels like. Um, this person's going to be on your path, and, you know, you have to put in your part. Now, um, if this is family related, I feel like that something's been going on and it's, you know, it's almost like it's felt like an adventure or something that just didn't slow down. Uh, I feel like that a victory is coming in this situation and things are going to level out and um, it, looks, it looks really good. It really does. It looks like things are going to... Uh, balance themselves out and uh, you'll see that victory that you know I feel like that you really want to see in situations or in relationships <clears throat> excuse me now if this um, let's look at your money okay for some of you as far as money is concerned you feel like that you're always standing alone it's like um, feeling like partners or other people just kind of turn their back on the situations, turn their back on um, you, and don't you know help, don't put uh, their their part in, and you're tired of it. I feel like you're tired of it, and you know you can't you know if you can't do it all alone, they should be helping you. So that's for someone. feels like help is arriving that's what I just got so yeah oh Ooh. okay things are about to change on the money front um, it is like I don't know you've got the ace of cups here you've got so much emotion but the knight of wands you know it's as if things have been moving slow but they're steady going you know, not not fast like the um, the um, Knight of Swords, but at the same time, they're steady. So I feel like that what you've been fighting for and um, things are about to change. Um, we got the Wheel of Fortune here. So on the money front, things are about to change. It is going to call for the truth coming out about something. And that is how things go forward differently. The truth has to be... Uh, shown on something and then it's like bam things just start flowing start going look on your side um, you could be coming into some windfall now um, I'm going to have to tell you if for some of you for someone uh, you make the yeah, this is for someone you may come into some a large sum of money and I'm keep I keep getting drawn to the ace of cups and um, it's like um, you may have people who say that they love you coming from every direction. Um, and I'm seeing dollar signs. It's for the money. So, yeah, just remember that. Um, be wary of people who haven't been in your life. And um, don't just look over why haven't they been in your life. You know what I'm saying? Um yeah, so that's what I've got for you. Um, we'll come back with Sagittarius in a moment. Okay, Sagittarius. Let's look at you and love. You've got energy, the magician. Where are you putting your energy? Generosity. The motivator, King of Roses. So, um, as far as love is concerned, I feel like that it's basically up to you where you want to put your energy. What seeds do you want to sow? You know, uh, I feel like um, you've got lots of paths open, and it's kind of like you can just choose. Um, generosity, I feel like that maybe you're being, you may be being too generous with some and too much of a motivator with others. Uh, there's a need, I feel like, to um, <clears throat> see things from how you really want them to be because I feel like you're, you're, with you being the magician, 
you've got the power to bring forth the relationship you want. You just need to see it the way you truly want it. Now, uh, the, what I mean by that is, you know, if you want a relationship that, um, where the love, there's love, there's generosity, you know, you have someone in your life that motivates you as well as you motivating them, bring it forth. You know, I feel like that um, if this is about an existing relationship, um, if things weren't good, I feel like that if you put your energy into it and you do that with generosity and caring and um, <clears throat> be a motivator, I feel like you're going to um, help lift this relationship up and make it better. Um, that's what it feels like. So it's it's almost like, um, you know, honestly, where you put your energy is where it's going to, things are going to change. And um, I also feel like that um, if you want a relationship to grow, you need to choose a relationship that is fulfilling to you. Because if you choose a relationship based on looks or based on... Um, maybe what someone has, you may end up very desolate and dry like what I'm, I keep being drawn to what looks like the desert over here, where you could have a relationship that'll grow and go somewhere. So really think about where you're putting your time, where you're putting your energy. Uh, that's very important. So where you place your energy matters. Now, let's look at um, money for you. For Sagittarius. Ooh, moving forward. Okay. Um, with the hangman being here, there's some things that you need to work out. Some things you need to look at going forward, and there may be um, some collaborating with other people. Um, I feel like that you don't need to lose focus about what it is you're trying to achieve moving forward. And, um, you know, sitting on it and figuring it out and thinking about it first is a good idea, not just rushing forward. Uh, taking the time to look at every perspective I also feel like looking at um, if this has got to do with merging of a business, look at all the people that are going to be involved, possibly, um, because we have other people showing up underneath here. Take a good look at them, you know, stand your ground, stand solid, um, you know, don't be a wounded warrior, but yet be a warrior, know what you want, and don't settle for anything less, it feels like. Um, you could be dealing with several people here. Um, but at the same time, you could walk right towards that victory. Um, now, if this is, um, it feels like that some, if this has got to do with uh, finding a job, I feel like the, you know, there's going to be several options, several. And it's going to have you having to think about it. But at the same time, look at each option from a perspective of what can you benefit you know, how does it, how is it going to benefit you? Now, if this has got to do with school, I feel like you're going to be very enlightened. And there may be uh, some courses that will be enlightened to you that you knew nothing about that you feel like you can highly benefit from in the future. And you really can. It's that type of feeling. I'm seeing the light bulb and it's lit up. Um, so it's being highlighted for you, it feels like. Uh, I feel like someone could be taking a trip home, uh, wherever home is for them. And um, this could be coming back together with lots of people. And the reason this is coming, uh, there's going to be some exchange for with money or some exchange of money. So I don't know whether they're, someone is buying something from you or um, you are traveling home because some maybe someone has passed. But at the same time, they, however this is, um, 
as far as money is concerned, there is it's showing victory. So um, it's going to be different for different people. But that's what I've got for you. And we'll come back with Aries in just a moment. Okay, Aries, let's see what we get for you on the love front. Hope, truth, privacy. Okay, let's see. Okay, for some of you, this is about a relationship that... Um, I feel like with privacy being here, someone's very private. So, that's making it hard for someone else. But at the same time, I feel like that the relationship does have hope. The, per the thing is, is truth needs to come out. The truth about something needs to be shown. And um, that's, that's where the, you know, that's where there's hope for the relationship is healing what needs to be healed. Um, and, you know, we've got privacy here. So this may be a private matter. It may be a matter that needs to be uh, dealt with behind closed doors. Um, but nevertheless, you know, I feel like for some of you, um, you may have outside people trying to butt in and trying to figure, you know, trying to figure your life out and uh, whoever you're dealing with, um, if you're dealing with someone. Now, for some of you, this is about you. This is about you loving yourself and um, getting yourself ready for new love. Now, for some of you, I feel like this is just about you in general because I feel like that you're not really looking for a romantic relationship um, some of you are um, it's about love for yourself it's about um, love from family which I feel like um, you know if there's any issues with family it needs to be done in private because we've got privacy coming out um, the truth does need to be looked at and there is hope to fix relationships that um, are seen broken. Um, it's as though they're not really broken. They're just bent out of shape. Yeah. So, excuse me. Whew. Let's see where that came from. Um, so, that it, it, it can be healed, whatever this is. And I feel like that for some of you that's wanting a romantic relationship, don't give up hope. Um, you need to, I feel like, see the truth about, I feel like it's the way that um, you've looked at relationship in the past. But not only that, but privacy. Are you so private that you aren't getting seen? Let me repeat that. Are you so private that you aren't getting seen? You know, um, are you against putting yourself out on social media? Which, there's nothing wrong with that. But are you against also going outside your home? Now, you want a relationship, but if you are so private that you don't get seen, then you may be hindering yourself. I feel like that, you know, if you want something, you need to go after it. You want a, a, a romantic relationship, then um, put yourself out there somehow, even if it's just going to out in public every now and then, um, for it to actually, you know, happen. Um, then again, you know, prayer and um, believing and faith and um, not losing that, that, they can walk right up to your door. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. But some things are better talked about in private. I feel like that's a big thing. Or dealt with. Because I feel like for many of you, that's what it's got to do with. Someone, I feel like that um, the problems within, a, within relationships are being taken out of the home and fa other family members, friends are getting involved and putting in their two cents worth and it's like two people can't even 
You see what I'm saying? They need to see the truth and they need to deal with their own problems in privacy so that other people don't um, turn things around, make things worse, uh, pick sides, um, cause problems. It's that type of feeling. Okay. Um, as far as money is concerned for someone, they feel like they're carrying a load. It's weighting them down. Um, this is someone who has children. Uh, they're not sure what's going to happen, what they can do at this time. Uh, I feel like that for those, for whoever I'm talking to, this is for someone. Uh, you're about to get a message from someone. This could be help. This could be help arriving. Someone that wants to help you. They want to help nurture your situation and make things better. I feel like you need to accept, um, accept their help. Um, this could be a family member. This could be... Um, actually could be a church or um, someone that just has a good heart and wants to help you. Okay, tell me more. Um, let's get yours. Let's get Aries for around money. So this is, yeah. Okay. Okay, see, they're picking it up there. Um, I feel like that, for where I was leaving off on that one, is you're likely to get some communication. This is someone that can help you balance things out. Now, this may be a job um, being offered to you. If it is, I feel like it could, you know, it could be beneficial. Um, now, for some of you, okay, for someone in particular, um, if the job is related to something that makes you feel demoralized or makes you feel lesser than, don't, yeah, don't, yeah, um, look elsewhere because I feel like that um, for someone there's a, like a warning. Uh, but for others, you know, it's like someone wanting to help. Now, I feel like that um, if you put in lots of, um, if you're wanting a job, or you, you know, if you put in lots of um, effort and, and put yourself out there, I feel like that, you know, you really took that time and that effort, you're going to get communication. You're going to get some form of communication. And, um, you know, it's all about balance is key, I feel like, in this situation. You're going to have lots of options. So you'll need to look at what better... Um, what is what's going to be better for you uh, now I feel like you're going to be called to make a decision quickly um, so you need to look at everything good look at it precisely um, because you may be called to make a quick decision and you got all these choices but if you make a too quick a decision you may choose the wrong um, path to go down or job to you know um, or if this is about college or classes, you may choose the wrong one. Uh, so, yeah, uh, don't move so quick that you're being hasty or jumping the gun. So, whenever I come back, um, we will be doing, um, actually, Libra in just a moment. Okay, Libra, let's see what you get in the way of love. Passage, the visionary, and then on the bottom, fulfillment. So, it's as though things, um, as far as love are concerned, are very fulfilling at this time. Um, I feel like that um, the way you look at things, the, as you go down a passage that has to do with love, is making things very fulfilling. Um, there's a feeling of not dwelling on, um, you know, it's, see, it's a difference in perspective. Not dwelling on every little thing and having patience. So, cutting out anxiety and having patience is transforming the way that you deal with things as far as love are concerned. You know, whether it be romantic or whether it be family related or love for yourself. You're looking at things differently, and that is making it very fulfilling, love being fulfilling, uh, none of that sorrowfulness of um, feeling
feeling like um, you know it's it's not happening for you. This is knowing because you're seeing differently, um, and it's it's beautiful. This is a beautiful feeling. Uh, it truly is. Uh, someone has really. It's like they've almost mastered their mind about love, how to look at it. It's that type of feeling. Okay, let's see how you are in money. Okay. Ooh. So, I feel like that for many of you, money is awesome. You know, things are do going wonderful. Uh, now, for some of you, it's even going to get better. Uh, yeah. We've got the wish card. We've got the ten of pentacles. Things looking good. You may get offered a new job. You may get um, um, raised up to a new level of status. Um, and things look really good. You know, the king of pentacles. Got things going on. Got your own money. Got got everything that is flowing perfectly. Now, for some of you, I feel like you could be um, going to be getting into a relationship with someone that is really going to put you in a, a status of money, uh, change, um, and, and not change in a bad way. Now, for some of you, I feel like that um, you may be self-employed and someone's coming to change things in a good way in your business you may be taking on a partner a partnership now if so do read the fine lines on anything that you sign this has got a good feel though it feels like oh oh mercy someone you know where that's coming from um it's got a feel of really coming into a windfall now for some of you you may be actually going to win some money um, and I'm getting, uh, for some reason, I'm getting a number 30. Not sure why. I looked here, I see the 3. I looked here, and I see the 10. And then it's almost like a times, and it makes it 30. So, yeah. Hmm. So 30 may be an important number for you. Um, but... This is good change. This is wonderful. Looking awesome on the money front. So we'll come back with Gemini next. Okay, Gemini. Let's see what we get for you on the love front. Okay. That one's trying to fall out. Joy. Someone feeling some joy around love. Something changing. Change is coming. It's going to make someone feel very joyful. Feel like things um, have taken a turn for the better. Okay, now let's get to our reading. Okay. For Gemini. Prince of Wings, the Challenger. Mm hmm. Passage. Okay change see um someone is going to challenge you it's going to have you uh reevaluating the way that you look at love um this is going to call for it feels like on this passage with this person because this feels pretty personal it feels like that there will be a call for change now this doesn't feel selfish because this feels like two people changing together. So, um, it is a challenge though. And it will make you feel like um, someone is uh, challenging you. Now, they're not though. It feels like that they, you know, to move forward, the change must come and you must reevaluate um, the way you look at things. Uh, for instance, if you both own your own home or such and you know, when you come together and you want to buy one home together or something like that. Um, it could be many different things. But it, it's got to do with, it feels like, reevaluation 
can make things more joyous and make things um, work out. It's just you feel challenged in the beginning. So, change is a good thing. You know, it's not always a bad thing. Um, even though this does feel like it's a rather big change. So, it feels like you're going to be called to um, do some changing, but it feels like they are too. So, it doesn't feel like it's kind of one-sided or anything. Okay, money wise, let's look at money. Let's look at money for Gemini. Okay. Okay. So, you're looking for something to change, waiting for something to happen. Um, I feel like that um, if this has got to do with something uh, court related, where it has to do with money, I feel like that there will be, um, a, it will favor in your, you know, for you. Um, now, I feel like for some of you, um, if you put in the hard work and you, you, you know, justice, I feel like that, oh, it's about balance. If you put in the work and you balance things out, um, you don't cut away everything that you need to to move forward because you're in the Queen of Swords energy, you know. Uh, I feel like that you need to look for it and you need to um, be open to receiving um, the messages that are going to be coming your way because it's like something is truly changing with the World card. It's the ch not only the change, um, I feel like, you see, it's almost like someone's been going through some um, karma. They've been having karmic lessons that they had to learn, and it's almost like they're learning them. They've learned them, and now moving forward on the money front, things are about to change for this person, and they know it. It's like they know it. Um, I feel like they could be in the Queen of Swords energy because they're taking... Um, their money issue very seriously, so they're not really putting time out for everything else. So, yeah, this feels like that, um, you know, someone is really um, looking for what they know is coming to them. That's beautiful. This has got a feel of really um, bringing forth what you want. Um, by doing the work, you know, working hard for it. Working hard for what you want is that type of feeling. It's not like um, just knowing that you deserve it. You're working to bring it in. You see what I'm saying? Not just sitting back and being like, well... I know I deserve it, and it's going to come, so I'll just sit here and be passive. No, you are doing extra steps to make it happen. Make sure that it happens for you. It's that type of feeling. Um, we'll come back with Aquarius next. Okay, Aquarius, it is your turn. We're going to see what we get for you on the love front. What do you need to know about love? got the hangman attitude so something has to do with your attitude and how you look at things trust fool okay I feel like that that plays a big part in bringing in what you want um, you've got intuition here the high priestess um, and you've got courage underneath that and illusion underneath that so fulfillment is below that this is a feeling of really following your intuition to know what is real and what is illusion. And um, having trust enough to, I feel like, put in some effort where you might have not have would have in the past to see where something goes with someone. Um, changing your attitude about how you look at relationships. Uh, seeing it from a whole different view. 
Um, and I feel like, you know, being ready to um, put some trust in someone new. Fall, definitely following your intuition, and that's a good thing. Um, because I feel like that, um, you know, and it doesn't have to, anything to do with age, but I feel like if this is romantic related, you know, I feel like that you are being seen. Um, you know, the high priestess can be very... Um, very seductive, so you know, and it's a feeling like you're being being seen. So you have to follow your intuition about this. Now, um, if this is if that's about romance, you know, romantic, because see, you've got reward there and you've got fulfillment here. It's like they coming. You see what I'm saying? But it's all about breaking the habits, seeing the truth, and breaking those habits brings forth the change that you need in order to make something truly happen in the way of romance. Now, if this has got to do with um, just, you know, a, a relationship that you're already in, I feel like that a change in attitude and learning to trust yourself and, tr you know, trust your intuition is going to help you to be able to um, make things change make things happen for yourself or for your relationship with whoever you're dealing with. Oh my goodness. Oh. That's a big deal, it feels like. And you may, you know, it may help to heal something as well in a relationship. Okay, so it feels like attitude is key. Um, is a big key in this. Let's see about money for you. Okay. Okay. I feel like as far as money is concerned, finding a, um, an equal balance here. Um, you know, and I feel like it's got to do with um, balancing your life in general. And be feeling happy happiness while you're doing it. Not feeling stressed out. Um, you know, you may be your own boss. Um, and if you are, you know, I feel like finding this good balance between work, home, um, time for yourself... And, and just really finding a balance where you can be happy. And the sun card is the yes card, by the way. If you have a yes or no question, the answer would be yes. Um, really think into that, though. I'm going to tell you. Feel into it because, you know, if you're just automatically, once I say that, just coming up with, with this question, it's kind of like, hmm, you could be just putting that out there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so really think into that. Um... See, there's a healing here. It's like walking away from something that was not fulfilling um, and walking into something that is. I feel like for some of you, um, you know, you're naturally a leader. You just have to dip into that. Um, and for some of you, you could be going to be moving into a job where things are so much brighter, so much more positive and happy. And, um, you know, you could take on a boss role or either, uh, if not, I feel like you will have a boss that is kind of someone that you will uh, respect. Someone that will, um, there'll be a figure for you to look up at or look up to. So it's not a bad feeling. Um, if this is school related, I feel like balance is key. Balance is key, and um, having a good personality about you and a good outlook, outlook on everything is key as well. So, that's what I've got for you. Uh, thank you all so much for being here with me. If you've watched the whole reading, then yay, you know. Um, but um, thumbs up. Please do subscribe, and much light and love. Till next time. Bye.